top of the head of Bab. Oh. And a big right hand and he nearly falls out. That is it. So Nikolai Beluard would get another first round knockout. Today we showcase one of the largest heavyweights in the history of boxing, the Russian giant, Nikolai Valuev. Standing at 7 foot tall and weighing over 300 pounds, Valuev dwarfed each and every one of his opponents as he fought to become the tallest and heaviest man to ever win a world title. He is a huge man, he's got arms like tree trunks, his, his legs are like forests. Uh, there's no way I'd, I would even share a, a room with the guy. As a child, Valuev rapidly outgrew his peers, despite being born to parents who were both 5 foot 5. And by the late age of 20, Nikolai started boxing as he aspired to become the first ever heavyweight champion from Russia. The Russian giant, Nikolai, Nikolai, Valuev continued winning fight after fight and racking up a tremendous 42 win streak before earning his first title shot in 2005 against the American champion John Ruiz. <laughs> After 12 rounds of imposing his enormous size onto the smaller man, Valuev was awarded a unanimous decision win, making him the first Russian heavyweight champion in history. The world champion is Nikolai Valuev! I had been striving for it for a long time. I'd gone through a lot of different obstacles and difficulties. But in the end, when I was in that ring, I felt that today is my day. As the new champion, Nikolai successfully defended his title three times within the next two years. Knockout past the sixth round. Aaron, can you just hope he does not become a stationary? Just went down from the team. But in 2007, Valuev suffered his first career defeat by decision, and it wasn't until three fights later where he regained the vacant WBA title by beating John Ruiz for the second time. Punching ride from Valia to end the session. A new WBA heavyweight champion from Russia with... Yes, indeed it is. Nikolai Valiev gets it. Having just become a two-time world champion at the age of 35, Valuev was approaching the end of his career, and after defending his title against Evander Holyfield, Nikolai was set to take on his biggest test so far against the British challenger, David Hay. He's really, really big. He's really strong. He's never been knocked down. Never been knocked out in 51 fights um, and I'm expecting a real hard night's work, a real tough fight. But you know, I feel I've got, I've got what it takes to find a strategy to beat this big guy. Here he is, the biggest heavyweight champion in history. Another round where he has to work the whole three minutes under. Being a little quicker than trying to train him for over the course of 12 rounds, David Hay was able to control the action on the back foot using his elusive style. And although Valuev put forth a commendable effort while finding moderate success, he fell short on the judges' scorecards and lost by majority decision. From London, England, the new. And it was at this point that Valuev announced his retirement with a record of 50 wins and 2 losses, going down in history as the biggest champion of all time.